Hey, hey, and welcome back to another learning Java 2D game programming video. So in our last video, we made our bubbled NPCs soar away. And also we added a way for us to see what effects um, our humanoids have uh, in debug mode, just to make testing our game a little easier and finding those sick people. All right. For today's video, we are going to be implementing victory conditions and defeat conditions so that we know when we have won and when we have lost. So we're going to do that by using a functional interface, such as we already have this AI condition, but the thing is it takes in the state and it takes in the current character NPC and we don't need that. So we're going to make a more general condition today. So let's put that in the core package, name it condition, make it an interface. I'm going to add it to Git. And other than that, it will also just have one method, which is called is met, but it won't take anything in. So very general. All right. We can even close that up. That's all we're going to need for that. So find the game state. This is, of course, specific to our game. So I'm going to start by making two lists. Import that list. I'm going to call this victory conditions. And I'm just going to duplicate that and call it defeat conditions. All right, and I'm going to want one more thing. I'm going to want to know if we're still running, if it should still check for these conditions, or if we've either won or lost. We're no longer playing. So I'm just going to make a Boolean called playing, I guess. So I'm going to set playing to true. And then below here, we're going to initialize conditions. All right, let's generate that method. And in here, we're going to say that victory conditions is equal to a new array list. Oh, sorry, don't open that. And the defeat conditions is also a new array list. All right. So I guess we could actually, can we give it something in here? Actually, we can do this. I'm going to do this instead. So the list has the of, I think we've used it. So we can just say list of, and it will initialize a list for us uh, with whatever we have inside. Um, I don't remember if this is modifiable. It might be that we can't add anything more afterwards, but I'm not going to promise anything. doesn't really matter because this is the only place right now that we're going to add any conditions anyway. So here we can just give it a condition. And since we have a functional interface, we can just make an anonymous implementation. So just this Lambda function. And I'm going to say if uh, get number of sick is equal to zero. So if there are no sick people, we have one, right? And down here, I'm going to say we have lost if get number of sick divided by, and we're going to have to make something called get number of NPC. Because I want the total number of all NPCs, sick or healthy. I just want the total. So if the total here, and we're going to have to make that, is more than some value, I'm going to say 25. So like 25%. If more than 25% of our total NPCs are sick, then we have lost. Let's just make that down here. And I'm going to say get number of NPC. Oh, right. And it should also be NPC. This it is plural, right? So we want the NPC. And uh, I'm going to change that for all of these methods as well. I don't want the player to be part of the statistics. I'm going to keep the functionality that our player can get sick. We might use that later, but the player is not going to be part of the statistics. Anyway, 
let's just fix this. We don't need to filter it, so the filtering is already done, so we can just call size instead. And here, let's say mpc.class instead of humanoid. All right, we can also rename this, so shift F6, call it mpc, just to be very clear with what we're doing. All right, now that that's done, this is actually complaining that these are both longs. So they don't have, uh, none of them have decimals, so it's not gonna be a floating point calculation, I guess. So it's not gonna give us any decimals, so this isn't gonna work. So we need to cast one of them to a float or a double. But so this will work. All right, now we need to get the update method. So let's override it. Public void update. First call super update. And now if playing, if victory conditions stream all match condition is met. All right, so all conditions inside of our victory condition is met. Then what are we gonna do? We're gonna win. So we're gonna make a method of that. Let's also copy this and do the same for our defeat conditions. Condition is met. I'm gonna call this lose. All right, let's generate these. And for today, we're just gonna keep it very simple and we're just gonna display a text. So later we're probably, this is where we are going to get a button to go back to the menu state when we have that. But for today, we're just gonna display a text. So let's make a vertical container. I'm gonna call mine win container. It's a new vertical container. This needs a size and we haven't saved the window size in our state, but our camera has the size of our window. So we can use that size. Let's say I want this to be centered completely. So let's just give it a new alignment and I'm gonna give it position center and center. All right, what else? We wanna add, add UI components, new UI text. And I'm just gonna say victory here. So we have one, yay. And then we have to add it to our UI containers. Win container. We also actually have to set playing to false. There we go. Let's just copy all of this into lose and I'm gonna rename it to lose container and I'm gonna say defeat. And there we go. Let's try that out. And so we don't have to play all of it. Let's just not initialize any sick NPCs at all. So we should get victory immediately. And we do, so yay for us. Also, we said 25%, right? And we have 200 NPCs, so that should be 50. But just to be safe, let's give it a little more. So now it should be more than 25% sick NPCs. So we should be defeated immediately. And we are. So there you have it. Win conditions and lose conditions. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Hey, Dua.